In the past, whenever I was working on a machine with a bad starter motor, it was uh, a pretty simple decision to just replace it. Um, they're cheap, they're easy to get in and out, typically, and, um, you know, why struggle with it? However, now I live in a part of the world that's four to five weeks by mail away from uh, the United States, and so I've put a little bit more effort into taking these things apart and diagnosing why they're not running. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. This starter motor uh, doesn't do anything when you energize it. And of course, I've done the typical uh, banging on it and um, you know banging on it while it's energized and, and forcing the uh, the rotor shaft around. You know, if you engage this little pinion here, you can force it around. So I've done all your typical things and still nothing. Totally dead starter. So uh, we're going to take it apart, do a little autopsy on it, and see if we can repair it. Starting at the bottom, we have uh, two Phillips screws to take out and then two 8mm bolts. These bolts, uh, you got to be careful with them because they run the length of the uh, housing here and they basically smash the bottom with the top together to form a seal. So they're just tiny little bolts and they're very long and they have, they have quite a few threads in here so um, they do break off if you're if you're not careful with them so i'm going to start with these and then the bolts as we remove this cap we're going to see washer and a c-clip on top of it um, this holds the shaft together Let's see if i can rotate it again for you guys you can see that's the end of the shaft there there you go, see it going? That's the rotor shaft. So um, we can pry that out, pry that out, and then we're gonna take these bolts off. that and then we have our washer here and that's loose so thankfully these are not seized up easy peasy Okay, so now we can start splitting this thing. After many years of sitting, sometimes they take a little persuasion to split apart. Let's see if we can wiggle it by hand first. Oh, wow, that was really easy. Okay, so this housing comes off. That's loose in there. bottom you can see we're starting to slide out of here this is where the brushes are held I need to tap this out a little bit so on this starter motor uh, it looks like we actually have to disassemble it from the other side because I think there's a little clip in there that's holding it so we have this collar that slides up and down and there's a little metal clip right here which we remove. Then the collar comes off, the spring comes off, and this little pinion gear comes off and then I think the whole thing will come out like that. So I'm going to go grab a little needle nose and we're going to pry that off. Alright, so we got this collar loose, or we got the clip loose, now the collar. Spring. This whole assembly. This little plastic cover. And this, and this 
this middle housing. And we just have to figure out how to separate these two so we can get down to the bushes, brushes. All right, so it turns out it was just a little bit of gentle banging that got this out of here. That's your rotor there. And now we can take out your brushes and see what's going on with them. This is your brush plate here. Oh, well, here it is right here. Disconnected wire. Um, there's some pretty good... Oh, and we're missing a... Damn. We're missing a whole brush. Uh, there's some pretty good videos up on how to re-solder these. Um, you can search for them on YouTube. However, I actually happen to have a spare set. It's got good wires and it's got four good brushes here. Compare this. This one's totally stuck in. This one's missing. And the... Uh, this is supposed to connect right here. So we had several problems with these things. Now the reason that banging on starter motors works is it can help dislodge stuff like this. If you have one that's real sticky like this, it can help dislodge it because they need to have constant contact right around here in order to make that sort of like alternating polarity north, south, north, south to make this thing rotate. So. We need to have really good brush contact. Before I install this one, I, uh, I just take some really fine um, sandpaper and I uh, clean these up here. Um, and then we can throw this one in and uh, presumably that's gonna fix the problem. All right, now, so the hardest part of this whole process is getting the brushes back over the rotor here. As you can see, they're all spring-loaded. You have to hold all four of them open at the same time in order to get this thing back in here. So um, what I do is I, I take like a, like a spray can lid, you know, and I cut basically like a collar of it off. And what you end up with is this sort of spring-loaded piece of plastic. And if you wind it up, and then stick it in here. It sort of keeps them open like that, right? Now, if you're real good, you can do it so that it's tapered, so it's a little bit wider at this point than in there. And then you just sort of slide that in and it sort of funnels it in. So what I'm gonna do is mess with this a little bit. I have to stretch this plastic out a little bit so all the brushes are pushed into their little keepers. And then we can pop this guy in and it should slide on like butter. All right, it worked pretty good. We got this back together. Now we're going to put the cap on. Slide this plastic piece down. And the part that I was tapping out gets tapped back in. Very nice. Uh, at this point, I will sometimes uh, jump ahead a couple steps. You see, I, I put all these these parts out so I know what order they go back in. But I'll jump ahead a couple steps and get these long bolts through because as you can see down in there, you can misalign this thing. And it's all held, not, not just squished together, but it's all held rigidly by these two long bolts. So sometimes I'll thread this through and make sure I got it good and uh, then I'll continue on with the process. Moving right along, we got this housing together, and this is what uh, holds the permanent magnets in here. This little dust plate. We're assembling our pinion, and then our spring, and then our collar gets pushed back on here, and then this C clip gets squeezed in here. All right, almost there now. We got this washer. We got this C clip. There she goes. And we got 
got this little cap. Now we're all back together. Wasn't too hard. Let's test it out. Seems to be pretty strong. You guys got any questions about this? Let me know.